now. So there is no center in the brain that we think of anymore as mm -hmm. being what makes you gay or not. However, mm -hmm. the the thinking currently is is that you are you emerge from the womb with a gay or straight brain, and that will be the unfolding. Really? Yeah. So that okay. but you but and then the natural increase during puberty of becoming op interested sexually in the opposite sex. If you're going to be same-sex attracted, you become sexually interested in the same sex. Mm -hmm. So it unfolds at this the normal developmental stage of all humans of in, during puberty. Your interest, your interest, your sexual interest in either opposite sex or same sex happens at that stage. So the the gay brain, if you will, is is at birth. It's not something that happens, it's not some moral decision you make at age, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. It unfolds normally in that. So most um, same-sex attraction starts during during puberty. Um, sexual interest in opposite sex or same sex unfolds in the same kind of way. Now what is known, and in both of the books I have an appendix that's called one's the female brain and sexual orientation, the other one is the male brain and sexual orientation. I mm -hmm. try to include everything that we currently know and accept biologically um, that, that are different. And mm -hmm. the hormones aren't different. The circuitry as far as we can tell at this point, because of we have a very we're at a very primitive stage of neuroscience. So we just we really do not know. But things, for example, that point out some of the differences. There's a, there's a very nice study out in Sweden that scanned the brains of straight and gay males while they were smelling the pheromones of the opposite sex or the same sex. So mm -hmm. the gay males' brains lighted up in the pleasure centers when they were smelling the pheromones of another male. But if mm -hmm. they smelled the pheromones of a female, they, that was not attractive to them. Whereas the uh -huh. straight males, the straight males, really um, liked the smell, the pheromones of the females, but they did not like the pheromones of the of the male. Mm -hmm. So there's there's something at that basic sort of even pheromonal level, yeah. which is biological that that we know about. So that's as far as we've gotten with those studies. Okay. 